This is the picturesque old center of Limoges in the Limousin. And this historic place is called the village de la Boucherie, the butcher's village. And for several centuries, six families of butchers lived all around here, preparing the famous Limousin beef that is known as one of the best beef in France. I found the superb hall of Limoges, the covered market, at the end of the butcher's village. There, I met François Brun, a dedicated butcher who sells top Limousin beef. Alors, euh, tu peux nous expliquer euh, pourquoi c'est un bon morceau de viande Alors déjà, parce que cette bête-là, je l'ai laissée rassir, c'est-à-dire elle est tuée, ça fait trois semaines. Ça, c'est très important. Alors ensuite, la limousine, sa typicité, c'est qu'elle a un grain très très fin. Le grain de la viande est fin. Il y a la graisse de couverture ici, là, juste ce qu'il faut pour la cuisson. Et ce qui est important, c'est la graisse dans la viande, comme ça. Ça, ça c'est très très bon. Et c'est ça qui donne tout le goût à la cuisson en fait, de l'entrecôte. C'est pour ça que tout le monde aime l'entrecôte, en fait. Down the road from Léal is one of the best Limoges restaurants, called l'Amphitryon, where the chef, Richard Lequet, cooks Françoise Limousin beef. Donc, euh, Richard, euh, explique-moi comment tu cuis ton entrecôte. Alors, je cuis juste l'entrecôte à l'huile d'olive. On l'a saisi à l'huile d'olive, on l'a fait bien colorée. On assaisonne à la fin. Pas de sel au début de cuisson, pas de poivre au, au début de cuisson. So Richard says that the key to a good steak like that is to rest the meat once it is cooked for three or four minutes in a warm place and well covered. Richard seasoned l'entrecote with some fleur de sel, you know, the, the, the top quality salt and some uh, piment d'espelette. It's a chili from the south of France. And for a magic touch, a drizzle of olive oil just before serving. This is so good. Tender. There's a sweetness about the meat. It's excellent. A jarret de bœuf aux carottes. This slow cooked chin of beef with carrots is amazing and a popular farm dish. I first brown a piece of trim chin of beef for a few minutes, then place it in a cast iron pan. Then I have diced bacon, onion, carrot and celery, some garlic and one clove, and cook for a few minutes. Of course, the quality of the meat is very important, but what makes a difference in a dish like this is the vegetables, the different flavors, the aromatics of the vegetables and the herbs. The addition of one tablespoon of flour and one tablespoon of tomato paste is necessary for color and texture. I then mix 100 ml of dry white wine. You can use red if you wish. Then I stir in one cup of strong beef stock. Everything goes in with the beef shin, as well as a bouquet garni and a little salt and pepper. I cover with foil and a lid and cook in the oven at 120 degrees for three hours. It's good to turn the meat over once or twice. The vegetable is carrot and it's cooked in the pot for 40 minutes or until the meat is tender. Serve all together or you may strain the sauce if you wish. C'est magnifique. The beautiful region of Auvergne is popular for its fast flowing rivers full of trout. This is the small town of Saint-Flour and tomorrow we are going to discover the local charcuteries. <laughs>